the same minute, and a large amount of Vicodin he was taking destroyed every single vital organ in his body. He never stood a chance, said mother of 28-year-old John, who died from, a, from being under cardiac arrest um, from a three to four year drug addiction to Vicodin. His mother never even knew about it. Substance abuse is a rising pandemic in the world and it's killing people every day. When I work for USC Horizons with women recovering from substance abuse, I got to, to really experience what they went through mentally and physically. I also got to learn about the dangers of substance abuse and also methods of prevention. Today I would like to inform you of ways to recognize the signs, the dangers, and prevention methods of substance abuse. Being informed and recognizing the early signs of substance abuse can really help somebody change their life. Many psychiatrists have believed that recognizing the early signs of substance abuse can actually save somebody's life. According to WebMD, a person who is abusing a substance may not even recognize that they are abusing a substance before it until it's too late. When they do recognize they're abusing a substance, they don't feel the need to get help, and so they begin to do more of the drug or more of the substance, and then it requires them to take more to actually get that feeling that they're looking for. A person who knows someone who uses drugs could recognize the signs by noticing if the person appears moody, have a strong desire for the drug, and may want to be isolated from you or even others. The World Health Organization links substance abuse as a type of psychoactive substance dependence, where there is a strong desire to take the drug, difficulties in controlling the drug, and persisting in its use despite of a dangerous situation or outcome. Once you recognize that someone that you know or love is abusing a substance, it's best to refer that person to get immediate help before they head into a dangerous situation. There are short-term and long-term effects for abusing substances that put both the abuser and the person that they know in danger. Short-term effects of substance abuse normally occurs within seconds of using the drug. According to the National Council on Alcoholism and Drug Dependence, short-term effects include losing friends and family, quitting activities you enjoy, and making bad decisions like drug driving. According to MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, every day in America, at least 27 people die from drunk driving related crashes. Death from substance abuse is a long-term effect. There's a mental long-term effect, such as paranoia and depression, along with a physical long-term effect, such as damage to your kidney, liver, lungs, and heart. John, the 28-year-old that I talked to you guys about in the beginning of my speech, he died from damage to his kidney and liver. He was taking 30 to 40 pills a day, which ultimately caused him to go into a cardiac arrest. Seeing a loved one or a close friend in a dangerous situation from the abuse of substances can be painful. So being informed on substance abuse prevention can save someone's life. There are many different ways to prevent substance abuse beyond recognizing the signs. John, who died from organ damage from abusing the substances, was under the care of his mother at the time. According to the book Involving Families in Substance Abuse Prevention by Patricia Nelson, families are recognized as a particularly potent component in preventing at-risk youth from a life of substance abuse. Parents would simply spend quality time with their children and make themselves available for doing homework, uh, problem solving, and even setting rules and limitations such as curfew. Substance abuse prevention starts at a young age and there are programs that provide education and ways of prevention. A journal article published in the Lancet Psychiatry created a prevention program that actually dropped the death rate by 4%. This was a study in uh, addicts that abuse alcohol. 
And so pretty much what they would have to do is, if they admit themselves into the program, they would have to abstain from alcohol and submit to frequent alcohol testing. Once you're educated on substance abuse in general, working towards prevention can be very difficult and saving the life of, of an abuser, but it is very effective, even if it's yourself who's abusing the drug. Now that you have been informed of the signs and dangers of prevention, I would like to leave you with a quote that would motivate you towards taking a stand, talking to your children, and possibly saving a life. Drug overdose is the leading cause of death right now in the United States, according to the Center of Disease Control. So please, stay informed.